Today, we'll talk about which are the five best picks, how to choose the correct product, and what you should look at before buying. We've ranked these products based on their price, quality, durability, performance, and more. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. Let's get started. Next up, we have a really good option that costs under $500. It's the best option for that price range. Number five, Hisense 50H8G. The Hisense earned high marks earlier this year for delivering excellent color and contrast performance with a generous assortment of features at an affordable price. Like most TVs today, the TV stand is comprised of two blade style feet. Unlike many TVs that provide one set of feet locations situated at the far ends of the TV, the HHG Quantum has a narrow placement option as well. The HHG Quantum offers four HDMI 2.0 inputs with one supporting ARC, but there's no eARC support. There's also no support for variable refresh rate VRR or auto low latency mode or ALLM, both of which are features that gamers should be on the lookout for with next gen consoles coming later this year. Under the hood, the HHG Quantum has a VA type LCD panel with a full array local dimming or FALD backlight system. A combination of these two should help the TV achieve deeper black levels and minimize halo effect, which produces rings of light around bright objects and a dark background. The use of the VA panel also means that off-angle viewing will not look very good. Colors look washed out, contrast takes a big hit, and you can more easily see the backlights in action, all very typical. Speaking of, the H8G Quantum supports HDR10, Dolby Vision, and HLG HDR formats. Hisense also claims the TV supports HDR10+, but I was never able to get it to work on Amazon Prime Video, which is my only source for that particular format. Sitting directly in front of the TV, I was surprised at how well the backlight system controlled the dark areas around bright objects, especially in HDR modes. You'll find almost every app you could want on the Hisense HHG Quantum series, along with popular streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime. You can download plenty of apps for cable cutting, Sling, YouTube TV, free content, Pluto and Tubi, studio content, HBO Max and Showtime, and working out, Peloton. There are also a number of games you can download and play using your remote or Android TV gamepad. This is the best Hisense TV to date. If you're looking for a model that's under $1,000, this would be a good option for you. Number four, Sony X900H. Sony X900H in the US and XH90 in Europe has been referred to as the PlayStation 5 TV, and it is also one of Sony's ready for PS5 TVs based primarily on its HDMI 2.1 capabilities, including support for gaming in 4K 120. That's 4K at 120 pictures per second. It's also an Android TV with a new more powerful SoC that has not been used in any previous Sony TV. The bezels enclosing that huge expanse of screen are slender and discreet, and the feet on which it stands are a similarly skinny flattened V-shape. It seems unlikely that a TV this big will be anything other than wall-mounted, even taking its significant 33kg weight into account, but should an owner be in possession of a surface wide enough to stand it on, there's more than enough space below the bottom of the screen for a substantial soundbar. Sony has put a lot of effort into improving the ability of its 4K TVs to upscale sub-4K content. By combining the prodigious power of its X1 4K HDR picture processing chip with an ever-expanding database of 4K relevant images, it intends to offer greater detail, texture, and, well, 4K-ness to 1080p material. And to a very great extent, that proves to be the case. With the solid bases of black, the X900H doesn't have to get extremely bright to appear vivid. Using Portrait Display's Kalman software and a Spectracal C6 colorimeter, I measured the X900H's peak brightness in a 10% window at 750 nits for a sustained period of time. All but the 55-inch model in the XH90 range features Sony's grand-sounding acoustic multi-audio system. In practice, this equates to 20 watts powering two full-range drivers and a couple of tweeters positioned near the top of the back of the screen chassis, one on either side. Is the Sony X900H or XH90 in Europe the PlayStation 5 TV? Well, it's hard to say for sure until PlayStation 5 arrives and even more crucially until Sony releases the firmware required to enable HDMI 2.1 and related features. No timeline has been announced. However, we would argue that its mediocre HDR picture quality is a big limitation. More and more console games are released in HDR. 
If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number three, LG E9. If I had to choose one OLED TV to rule them all, I would pick the LG E9 because it combines all the qualities that make a great OLED TV. The image quality is impressive, it has a great design, the cost is competitive and it has a great sound performance which I didn't expect. Also, the best thing about this OLED TV is that you can enjoy gaming nights like never before. The biggest selling point of the LG E9 is the thin band on the bottom of the TV that's a speaker grill and acts as a soundbar, actually, delivering a pretty pleasant experience overall. It also separates nicely from the glass panel and adds a great aesthetically pleasing look. The grill allows the sound to shoot downwards and it's a great step up from the industry standard that pushes you into investing in a soundbar. There are some excellent connectivity ports in the back of this TV, including four HDMI ports, three USB ports, optical port, 3.5mm audio, satellite sockets, antenna and ethernet as well. Moving on, you can also wall mount this panel and it'll look excellent as well due to its super thin body giving an elegant look. The LG E9 is powered by the second generation Alpha 9 processor of the company that does wonders with the AI technology that optimizes the image and upscales the content perfectly. I should also mention that it delivers amazing color and it supports Dolby Vision, HDR10 and HLG content without any compromise. I watched a couple of 4K movies on the LG E9 and it didn't disappoint even one bit as it delivers a great brightness and amazing contrast thanks to its OLED nature. Blacks looked ultra deep and the shadows were very pleasing to the eye, definitely one of my favourite TVs out there. I would have liked it if it supported HDR10 Plus as well, but even without it, it is great overall. The colour palette is rather rich and I have no complaints about this TV. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. LG C9 this TV is just an absolute beast. It's not only great for gaming, but I can say that it is the best TV for a range of usages. It delivers an outstanding performance. This TV has an excellent image quality, brilliant response time, clear motion with no blur trail, and many more wonderful features that you should check out. The design of this TV is amazing. It has a pretty classy and premium look. The stand supports the TV well, and what I love most about the design of this TV is that it has an almost bezel-less screen. Moreover, another great thing about this TV is the unseen electronics box that hides everything from tuners and power supply to input and output ports. The LG C9 has a very high refresh rate and an outstanding reflection handling. This one uses the LG A9 Gen 2 intelligent processor and it can turn off individual pixels and thanks to that, this one has an infinite contrast ratio. The reason why this TV is the best gaming TV is because it has a remarkably low input lag and a pretty fast response time. It has a pretty nice remote control that relies on Bluetooth so you can point it anywhere you want and it'll still work perfectly. It really is the best gaming TV in the market. It also is great for watching movies, TV shows and different kind of videos. If you're looking for a gaming TV and the price is not a big deal for you, you should definitely check out the LG C9 because it really has a lot to offer. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. LG OLED 55CX PUA LG has improved on this OLED, beefing up its video processing with a new Alpha 9 Gen 3 processor and its touted AI Think software. One of its primary functions is to differentiate between different types of on-screen objects, such as faces and graphics, for example, to deliver more detailed processing. You can also set the software to detect what kind of content, sports versus movies, is being watched and automatically adjust the picture. Another advantage of OLED technology is that because there's no separate backlight, you can go thin, super thin. So the CX is essentially a big piece of glass that's about a quarter of an inch thick. The LG CX can be wall mounted using a standard Visa 300 by 200 bracket. However, the included wedge shaped tabletop stand makes for a very sturdy support. It attaches with a handful of screws, but it takes two people to set it upright on a credenza. In setting up the LG CX55, you'll find a welter of image options to satisfy virtually any taste. Like other sets of its ilk, there are several preset picture settings, including modes for sports, movies, gaming, vivid pictures, and HDR effects. 
It also includes the new Filmmaker mode, which produces images as close to the original picture as possible by disabling video processing effects like motion smoothing and reinstating the original movie's aspect ratio, colors, and frame rates. Like Cinema mode, it can look dimmer than other settings, but it produces the most accurate picture. LG has also added several performance features for gaming. There's a reduced latency game mode, auto low latency mode, of course, which worked well with our Xbox One 4K games. LG also supports Nvidia's G-Sync and the Open FreeSync for those inclined to connect a gaming laptop and looking to get the smoothest images possible. And LG supports HGIG for HDR gaming. If you're looking for the best 4K picture available, the LG CX OLED will not disappoint. The addition of improved sound and some of the best smart TV features, including voice control, just make this package all the more appealing. Buying Guide Firstly, low lag. Before worrying about image quality or resolution, focus on finding a low latency TV. Latency, or lag, is the time that it takes for your TV to display an image on screen. When gaming, a ton of lag can ruin your ability to react to obstacles or enemies. Most TVs have about 60 milliseconds of latency, which is considered pretty high for gamers. Hardcore gamers tend to aim as low as possible, some swear by 13 millisecond TVs, but we suggest getting anything under 30 milliseconds. Why are we mentioning latency before resolution or image quality? Well, because cheap 4K HDR TVs are burdened with a ton of latency. If you're in the market for a $200 gaming TV, you might want to skip 4K and HDR and focus your money on a low latency 1080p TV. Secondly, refresh rate. Gamers spend a lot of time talking about refresh rates, or frames per second, or hertz. Some people think that refresh rates are nonsense, and that the human eye can't see the difference between 60fps and 120fps, but that's nonsense. The human brain can react to changing visual stimuli in a millisecond, or one one-thousandth of a second. While high refresh rates are great, you may not need a 120hz TV. High refresh rates are usually a trade-off for raw visual quality, and there's a good chance that you're already comfortable with 60 FPS or less. And thirdly, resolution. Popular home consoles have displayed content in Full HD resolution 1080p for the past 10 years, so it hasn't been a factor to consider until the announcement of the PS4 Pro and codenamed Xbox Scorpio. Both promise to deliver 4K Ultra HD gaming in our living rooms, so if you have your eye on one of these, it might be wise to consider picking up a 4K Ultra HD TV in preparation. Keep in mind that outputting a 1080p signal from your PS4 or Xbox One to a 4K Ultra HD TV works just fine, so even if you don't plan on making the incremental upgrade to 4K just for gaming, you can still benefit when watching Ultra HD films or television. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.